William Stafford. I have a poem here that was written at the Bonger Ranch, of one of the little cabins at Sisters where William Stafford would come sometimes and he would leave uh, scribblings on the wall or he'd write a poem and, and uh, you know, leave it pinned to the wall. So this one was left after one of his visits and it has never been published. It's just a loving family poem. For a Stone at Balmer's Ranch, one. From the first, even a coyote pup will begin to shift its profoundly non-committal head, begin the action to confront the dust, the only way for dust to be confronted. For steadfast ambiguity leaks all day, from everywhere, from everywhere. Some, though, reserve one place for trust and go there, having their friends to celebrate and elsewhere bitterness, the surrounding cold, the way a rabbi goes to the door at night and wags his cap and happily curses the world. Two, maybe the vigorous buck that bounds your fence, maybe the coyote so evasive he does nothing but turn and maybe some old trudger on the road, one of us, disguised by age, may come some day to mark this place again. Let him recall that autumn, 1966, our hike all day, all the way to the peak, our late, late talk, our time of gold when he views this stone. William, William, thank you. Now, last year I came to this and I went home just so full. And for a month or so, I worked on a poem about that night. And my dream was, gosh, maybe someday, someday I can read that poem. So here, a year later, I read the poem I wrote last year at this very same gathering. <laughs> and also afterwards, a 45 words, tiny little thing, which will finish me up. Turning with William Stafford at the Hannon. Looking for a poem to be warm in, we entered the Hannon, old library made young again, whose windows at night glowed like backlit honey. Careful when you cross the sea change tiles during the day. It's easy to ignore books and lectures when your eyes follow the windows, past the human hills, toward K Falls, Indian wild to the east. We were safe. On January 17th, we unwrapped a poet from the dark for his birthday to let him speak. A full house full of poetry lovers, onyx eyes shining like Andromeda, waited to hear William Stafford's words spoken. He held our minds and we walked together reminded of the straight gaze and gentle turnings of his life, we breathed with his cadence. Exhilarated, frozen breath talking us to the car, there it was, just there, diminutive, shaped like a small mailbox. Closer we could we read waste disposal. <laughs> the simple garbage can, but directly under the street lamp, a night gem, enameled fire engine red, and even frost covered it, shimmering, wondrous, like a galaxy, expressing itself on crimson organza for a princess of the winter sky. Too good for common detritus, we decided we'd use it to mail only Dorothy's ruby shoes to a bejeweled planet somewhere hope-filled. We stood watching undiminished. We didn't want to go, but it was colder, later, and glitter, when you try to see it, never focuses. Clearer ourselves, we stowed what we saw in our pockets, like Stafford said, to take out, to look at, and hold in our hands, melting here. 